If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Star competition, Tony, good luck. You're on the clock. You got your five minutes. All right, so as Nestor said, I am Tony Wisniewski, and we'll call this five-minute segment The Wiz World, coming to you live on WNST 1570, WNST.net. Out on the interwebs as part of the Baltimore Sports Media Superstar Competition presented by Buffalo Wild Wings and Fremont Mortgage. We'll talk a little bit about second chances. So Nestor had mentioned a few minutes ago of why I got off the path of, say, the straight and narrow into sports media um, in my days at the Baltimore Sun and that to the Examiner. And really what it came down to was uh, I had an opportunity to get into some other writing, and then the next thing you know, I didn't want to do that. I wanted the summers off so I could be around sports and coach some baseball, so I got into teaching. And that led me to a master's in special education and step by step by step. I have a great job with a, a tremendous company at this point. Um, my boss is a huge fan, big NST fan, so I'm sure he's listening in. But the reason I want to talk about second chances because that's kind of what this feels like to me, to be able to come back in to the studio here at NST 10 years after I had come the first time. Uh, when I was here as I was an aspiring Baltimore media member, I did some work here at the studio for Ray Bachman and Paul Kapelke. And to be back 10 years later, it's a little strange. Uh, absolutely nothing, nothing has changed. Things are the same, um, it, it's, and, and it's cool to be back. But when we talk about second chances, let's go a little bit into the Ravens and talk about a guy like Rolando McLean. So Rolando McLean was given a second chance a year ago by the Baltimore Ravens. Signed to a contract only to wind up arrested and in jail uh, days later. And then the abrupt retirement, everybody knows the story. So then we go to October, and an ESPN, the magazine article, surfaces, and it talks about Rolando McLean feeling like he was the next Aaron Hernandez, that he was going to kill somebody. So when you add that up with the charges that Rolando McLean has faced since being drafted by the Oakland Raiders in the first round in 2010, he fired a gun next to someone's head. He claimed a false identity to police, and he's had conduct issues to every stop in his career. I mean, really, he's turned into a sad story to where he's more of a threat to the general public than he is to opposing offenses. A year ago, though, the Ravens gave him that second chance. So the Ravens offer him the contract, bring him in, say, hey, Rolando, we're going to give you an opportunity to straighten things out. We're going to give you a chance to get on the field and right the wrong that this has become out there in Oakland. Obviously, that didn't go well. So we fast forward a year, and now the Ravens say again, hey, Rolando, we're going to give you another opportunity because Rolando McLean started beating Twitter and beating the social media blogs and things like that, saying that he's ready to play football and he's focused and he's in shape and he, he can't wait to get out there and he's chomping at the bit. So what does he do? Shows up 22 minutes late yesterday for the workout with the Ravens and then couldn't complete the duration of the drills. When you look at a guy like Rolando McLean, you have to think that football might not be the right prescription for what he needs. More fame, more attention, more limelight, all for a guy that just seven months ago talked about the fact that he felt like another Aaron Hernandez, where he felt like he was going to kill somebody, where during the interview, the writer for ESPN noted that he was weaving in and out of traffic and hopping curves to hit exits and backing up in the middle of traffic. So when you really think about those things, is this the kind of guy that deserves a second and a third and a fourth chance? On the flip side... Given the tumultuous offseason where the Ravens have had enough to fill up the police blotters and the blogs with legal issues from Ray Rice and Deontay Thompson, is it really one of those, it, do the Ravens need this? Do the Ravens need to, to go down that road with somebody like Rolando McLean? Because a year ago, it, w it made sense, the right player for the right price, and that's been the mantra of the Ravens. But now we move to current day, the right player at the right price it really doesn't make sense. Rolando McLean, with all the moving parts and, and the question of leadership in the locker room on both sides of the ball and all that, Rolando McLean's the kind of guy that's the wrong player at any price. So let's stay with the Ravens and talk a little bit about Michael Sam. So Nestor alluded to this idea that in, in the new world of media, you can't say certain words and things like that. So there's been a lot of question about Michael Sam, the defensive end out of Missouri, who is expected to go in the NFL draft to some team who will also be the first openly gay NFL player. Now the question is, will teams accept his sexuality? Will fan bases accept that he's the first homosexual NFL player? The question that we really should ask, though, isn't that will teams accept that? Because in, in the new age of media and, and in this society, I don't think it's too much of a question of that. 
the question we need to ask, it, will teams accept that he's just not that good? When you look at his combine numbers, Michael Sam's a guy who's 6'2", 255. He's a guy who ran a 4940 in the combine. Considering he's a slash defensive end linebacker, a tweener, if you will, his 40 time needs to be in the 4'6", 4'7", and to run a 4940, that there were 300-pound linemen that were hanging with him. On top of that, 17 reps at 225 pounds, the third worst in the combine. Words like stiff, awkward, unathletic, they describe Michael Sam. So the question is, hey, it's not about the sexuality. It's just about is he good enough to play. So again, my name is Tony Wisniewski, and I'm coming to you live from WNST 1570. Look for me on the Barstool blogs on WNST.net, and I will look for you next week at Buffalo Wild Wings. Good job, Tom. Good job. Well done. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. 